That's that's sick. Well, it's hard, of course. He's doing the rhythm and the soloing, and then you should make you put some singing on this. Blues. Okay, so he's just in drop D, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just in drop D tuning. Which is kind of, that's a kind of a cool way to play slide. A lot of times the people I studied from, studied from, copied. The people I copied played open tuning, like open A, open E major. I mostly did open E major, but whatever. Ooh, wait, hold on. Man, this is like this is some real funky like legit blues going on right here like i ain't even heard nothing like this in a minute i'm trying to think of the last time that i heard like some real legit you know just soulful blues going down that's dirty all right so one thing you know, I've, I've said it before, he does a lot of slides. He does a lot of really smooth, nice slides in his guitar playing, and that is essential for the blues. And I've already seen so much of that, and it's just as smooth as when he does any of his other covers to big major songs. So, yeah. Also, if you notice, it may be a little bit smaller on what you're seeing than what I'm seeing, but if you look at his thumbnail, it is much longer than any of his other nails and I'm sure him probably his ring finger as well um, I know a lot of big time guitars like Zach Wilde a lot of people that use finger style picking tend to keep those nails a little longer um, and thicker or you know stronger for picking so <laughs> What's up? Hey. See, you just with the blues, he is making that guitar sing. You know, the the blues, like I said earlier, there's so much emotion into the music, and it's just, it's a whole different world for a guitarist when it comes to the blues. Gets to leap my boat to the Blues Brothers reboot movie, man.